everything is changing really fast in Shoreditch. There's kind of things, buildings, suddenly appearing out of nowhere. Like that up there, you've got a building, suddenly they put a container on the top and the building grows by three floors overnight. You've got all these sort of old buildings and some of them can be renovated like that one, it's classic kind of legacy modernization. Leave the front there, smash the back end out, start again. I think one of the other things, really what I've been thinking about in this, you know, another exciting episode of opinionated infrastructure and we're talking about the use of space, is this, which is the old town hall. When you think about Shoreditch, it's easy to think that, you know, this was an area that was sort of full of kind of small, dingy, kind of, well, there were a lot of slums in the area, but you know, just people sewing stuff and working in bad conditions. But actually, this was a really thriving hub of activity and stuff in the same way that it is today. So if you look up there, um, you know, th this, this thing says, more light, more power. And that's Shoreditch Town Hall. And that's, that's, you know, that is, let's just say that's not a new building. The other thing that we care about in Shoreditch, progress. So yeah, this is, this is, um, what was the old town hall and, and, and it kind of, those ideas seem to me to represent a lot about what's going on now. What I want to talk about is use of space. The thing about infrastructure is it tends to be, we, though we call it general purpose, very often once we've used it for one thing, we just end up always using it for that thing. And that's a bit rubbish really. If we think about what we can do with digital stuff, we can virtualize environments and that allows us to be much more flexible in how we use these general purpose or specialized environments. So I'm, as you know, one of the co-founders of Redmonk, um, but I'm also co-founder of a co-working uh, and events space business called Shoreditch Works. And one of our projects is the Village Hall. Now, um, it seems like we're just on kind of a road that's pretty grim, but hey, look, check out this lovely coffee shop. So this is McIntyre Coffee, um, this is Alex, and what I wanted to, uh, he's the founder of it and he's an inventor of, of a new kind of coffee grinder, sadly that isn't the coffee grinder. When we wanted to open a space and do something interesting, um, it was really important that we had coffee uh, as a core thing of that, because I don't know about you, but I've been to too many events where the coffee is really terrible, so it's like, okay, we've got a strong opinion. We're gonna have great coffee and we're gonna build an event space around a coffee shop. So, it's time for the Narnia reveal. So this was kind of, again, a really grim. Um, where am I? Oh, there are people doing stuff. I thought they were finished on day. This is interesting, so that's Berg. Berg are really, really awesome. But if we talk about sort of the ability to virtualize space, they came in this morning and, hi Claire, how are you doing? They came in and they were supposed to just be working in these two boardrooms. But as soon as they saw the big room wasn't being used, they immediately flooded into that. All right, this is beautiful Hoxton Square. It's got this, again, really horrible building here, and it's gonna be torn down uh, in about a year. And so we, we wanted to take advantage of that. And so rather than being in a position where nobody wants to rent it, uh, we're turning it, as I say, into the village hall. And this is where we're running software events, community events, a lot of free events for the, the community at large. So I think the notion of the pop-up, which is a very Shoreditch notion, everyone talks about pop-up shops. In fact, I mean, pop-ups have jumped the shark. I guess you have pop-up sharks. The pop-up cafe, um, the pop-up event space. This is really virtualization. It's taking advantage of the assets that you have and sweating those assets. And really that's what we're trying to do. And if we think about sort of modernization, the role of virtualization, um, the willingness to try new business models uh, it seems to me there's a real parallel um, between the kinds of things I'm trying to do here with my, this physical infrastructure and what we're trying to do in servers and storage and networks uh, with software-defined uh, environments, software-defined networking and so on. Hey, it's interesting because this is my space, but of course it is now being used. And when I walked in there, everyone looked at me like I didn't belong there. And I guess that's called being a landlord. This building uh, that we're in, in about a year, is gonna be torn down. Um, and replaced with a building built by Zaha Hadid, the famous architect. Um, and, you know, much though I am a fan of progress, as we saw on the village hall earlier, on the, sorry, the town hall earlier, um, uh, it's, the building is a bit meh, and um, uh, it's an advantage to us if uh, it doesn't get planning permission uh, too quickly, because 
we want to take advantage of this lovely resource to run software developer events, virtualize the infrastructure, get more out of it, and that's the kind of opinion that we've got.